Hey guys, what is up? This is Fig Nukin Records here, back again with another tier list. Today we're doing one of my favorite bands of all time, uh, Linkin Park. Uh, starting out with Hybrid Theory, of course. Um, but I'm going to give a little background of why I love this band before we get in. I mean, I grew up, my dad was largely into this, uh, into the album Hybrid Theory and Meteor Aura. And then, of course, I was a huge Transformers kid as a uh, Transformers fan as a kid. So I really came in on like this album uh, and this album were huge for me these two albums massive and then you got songs like new divide that released specifically just for the movies some songs just like i have locked in my brain forever some great memories um but i was honestly having trouble with this list i was trying to think what albums can i stick s tier and originally i was thinking maybe i don't stick this one s tier but after re-listen man i'm thinking we have to go S tier with this album. You have absolute classics like Paper Cut, One Step Closer, uh, In the End. Like, all those songs are fucking massive hits. Of course, In the End is huge, having over 2 billion listens on Spotify. But I mean, there's some amazing, amazing tracks on here that aren't even, like, I, I can't say Deep Cuts because this album is, like, so big. But I mean, like, Pushing Me Away is great. Place for My Head's great. Uh, Runaway's also great. I mean, this album is like the perfect mix of like industrial, um, hip hop, metal, rock, everything, man. This is like the one of the pinnacles. I think it actually, you know, maybe gets better. Maybe it's a little hint of what's coming soon. But this album is fucking amazing. Uh, even the bonus tracks are really good. Um, I still don't listen to him as much. Like, my December don't really listen to as much. I remember really liking High Voltage when I was younger, but I still haven't listened to it as much more recently. So, I think if any album here is as deserving for reasons of just being, like... I mean, this is really what developed the whole genre behind it. And then they uh, redid it. Uh, this album this actually does have remixes on it. Um, to me, though, I'm going to have to put this at C probably i don't really listen to it that often but there are some really good tracks on here like i think uh the paper cut remix is super cool uh, it's like super atmospheric and kind of like cyberpunky i'd say uh definitely very different than the original but still similar enough to actually like be really good and then i actually do kind of enjoy executioner style featuring black thought because i think that uh it's like a new, different way to hear Black Thought that you don't usually hear. And I'm a huge Black Thought fan, so... Uh, that was just kind of a weird one that I figured we'd go over quickly. Nothing too, too crazy. Uh, and then next up, Meteora. I mean... Can I say enough about this track list, man? Don't Stay, Amazing Track, Somewhere I Belong, God Tier, Lying From You, Amazing... Hit the floor, easier to run, faint. Uh, probably my favorite. Uh, well, faint's a great song. I'm not talking about that one though. But this next one's probably my favorite uh, Link Park song for the longest time. Figure point oh nine. I love that song. Breaking the habit, amazing. Um, from the inside, nobody's listening, which is insane that that's that small of a uh, listen. I don't know. I'm surprised it only says 77 million. And then you got, you know, another billion listen song. Numb. I mean, we know where this is going. S tier. Easy. Great album. Uh, next up, we have a little bit of a weird one. We got Jay-Z and Linkin Park's Collision Chorus. I think I'll put this in B because I think, honestly, well, my problem is I put this here. Do I think maybe, maybe this has to go in D, honestly. Just because I'm not a huge fan of the remixes on here. Uh, I think this is a better album of remixes, if you want to say that, or mashup tracks. Actually, no. I'm going to put them both on C. Because really, I don't. I think I probably listen to Paper Cut more than the Paper Cut remix more than I listen to any song on this album. Uh, even though you, you know got some great ones, Numb Encore, which is like one of my. At the time, when, that, when I first saw it, man, was like one of the biggest things in my life, dude. It was uh, Linkin Park and Jay-Z 
uh, joining up live on stage for MTV, and then guess who snuck in at the end? Paul McCartney. That shit was crazy to me. Sorry, I had to uh, pop off for a second. I uh, getting a little sick this morning, so I had to blow my nose quick. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, that was like one of my big childhood, like just watching that video for the first time. I know I wasn't uh, when it probably came out. I probably wasn't you know old enough to even remember it or even watch it. But yeah, I loved that at the point when I was just, I think it was like 2012 when I first watched it, probably, when I was like really big into Jay-Z, Linkin Park. And then you have some like really good, like, just mashup tracks. There's some that seem less like, you know, less like even a mashup track and more just like, oh, Mike Shinoda's going to rap this part of this song, which is whatever. But um, still, really cool, really cool idea for an album. I don't think it fully succeeds on my opinion, in my opinion. So that's why I'm putting C. Uh, next up, we have one album that's got, you know, a bunch of highlights and uh, maybe a couple of lowlights as well. Um, of course, we're talking about Minutes to Midnight. But, you know, some like great tracks like the uh, opener giving up. Uh, and then it kind of like shifts away for some stuff. Like, I don't really listen to some of these songs uh, as much. Or, I mean, actually, I will say, I actually do listen to those pretty much this whole album i will say uh even the smaller songs like the little things give you away which i don't know why that song's smaller but uh you know you got great songs like what i've done shadow of the day i like bleed it out some softer songs it's really just a sh uh, a sharp change up from this era and i don't think it's fully executed to the best of their ability so i'm gonna put this album in b honestly i do think it's still really good there's songs i fucking love on here and I've listened to all these songs, honestly. I even listen to, you know, Hands Out High, I listen to quite often. So, I mean, I think it's pretty good, honestly. And next uh, next up, I, I feel like we didn't spend much time on that. Like, of course, I really like that album. But there's really not much that holds me to it. I don't really listen to, like, I don't even know. I don't even remember what. Oh, no, no, these are, uh, never mind. This is the uh, deluxe edition. I was like, looking. I was like, I've never even heard uh, "No Roads Left." I might not have, honestly. Um, so maybe I'll check that out after this video. But like, there are some really good ones. Like I really, like I said, I really do like "No More Sorrow." Of course, what I've done is amazing. But kind of, you know, it just is what it is. When it's you know, the album after two amazing albums, and you come out with something that's completely different. Uh, doesn't even have, honestly, any similar sounds on it for the most part. I guess Given Up is kind of similar to some of their older stuff. Uh, what I've done is definitely not. Bleed It Out, I guess, kind of. So I can't really stick that anywhere but B for me. I don't think it's quite as good as a later album, which we're going to get to right now. I think this album's a better version of, uh, of their black and white album era, I guess. This is the better album, which I had to stick in A. I think this album gets super overly hated on. Uh, and maybe it's because I wasn't here for this part. I wasn't like... I mean, I liked stuff from this part when I was younger, but like, I didn't come in here and was like, this is what I was listening to originally. What I got into was, you know, when they started doing Transformers and shit like that. Uh, that's when I started really getting into them. So this album for me, I have to say, I think it's great for a concept album. Really good. Uh, every song that's not a... Every song that's not a uh, interlude track. And I think these interlude tracks are better than Tool. Sorry, Tool fans, if you guys are watching. I know you guys absolutely shitted on my last video. Um, I actually really think the interludes on here are great, in my opinion. And then there's some, like, great songs. I mean, you have, like, the big ones, like uh, Iridescent, which was in uh, Transformers. I love The Catalyst. Uh, I do like Wretches and Kings, even though it's, like, a weird... Uh, like vocal performance that uh Chester Bennington was doing. Uh Blackout, I do enjoy. Uh Waiting for the End is like fucking amazing song. When they come for me, fucking awesome. Robot Boy as well. But um When They Come For Me, dude, that like heavy metal. And then you have the more uh uh South Asian fucking like singing in there too. Super cool super cool album. Uh and then of course you have that iconic quote in there from uh, 
uh, Robert J. Oppenheimer. Uh, of course, in one of those songs. I believe it's in uh, Wretches and Kings, I want to say. Or it's in... I think it is in Wretches and Kings. I really think it is. No, that's the... Oh, man, I'm trying to remember which one it is. But it is in there. And then, of course, uh, I don't think I mentioned Burning the Skies. Amazing track list. Um, I know it's softer. To me, this still feels like Linkin Park. And we'll, I guess we'll talk about that soon enough. Uh, now let's talk about Living Things. Uh, actually, an album I actually really like as well. Um, I really like the song, Lost in the Echo. Uh, love that song. In My Remains, I think it's really good. Burn It Down, really good. Uh, I'll Be Gone, really good. Castle of Glass, I mean, Battlefield Trailer, come on. I really enjoyed that one. Roads Untraveled from Need for Speed. Uh, yeah, I actually really like this album. Uh, I know it's not definitely not everybody's taste. Um, I would probably... I don't think it's as good as this album. I would put it above, for me at least, uh, Minutes to Midnight. I really like this album. I know it's just not everybody's flavor, but I do really like that album a lot. Um, he, like, I don't know. I still find myself coming back to this album. This is really when I was like... Like I said, 2012 was really when I was into Linkin Park. I went to the beach this one time and I was listening to this album nonstop. So if that gives you any idea of how much I liked it. Uh, next up we have uh recharge. Like honestly, the only thing that really comes from this is for me is the, a light that never comes, which I actually enjoy that song. So I think I'm going to stick this one in C tier. I just like that song. So I like the Steve Aoki um, mix with them. I know it's very different from normal. But I actually still really like it. Uh, next up, their 2014 album, which is actually when I saw them in concert for, uh, for the first time and the only time, actually. I had uh, to see them two other times. But uh, the first time, he actually broke his arm uh, or broke his leg. I can't remember. Um, I was supposed to go see him. And the second time was a week a week before uh, he actually, actually killed himself. Um, so I, if I would have... Not done it for a week, man. I would have seen him again during the, like the Blinken Park tour, uh, but sadly, I mean, I'm not. You know, it sucks, but I'm. I'm not mad at the dude. I mean, who knows what he was going through? So. Um, but next up, the Hunting Party, uh, their album where they went. I believe this is their independent album. Uh, where they tried going back toward more of a, a metal sound, honestly. Uh, and you have that, like, right off the rip with, uh, Keys of the Kingdom with that, like, uh, intro scream. Um, not my favorite song in the world, but I do like that song. All for Nothing, I do really fucking like. Guilty All the Same is, like, was an awesome single on this album. That I remember listening to a lot. And, uh, I do love the, uh, actually, this is the album that got me into, uh, Wreck Him. So, I actually like that. I started listening to a lot more of his solo stuff and, uh, Eric B. and Wreck Him. Um, but, uh, other songs though, I mean, you got Wars, Great, Wastelands, Until It's Gone, of course, was a big uh, single on this album too. Uh, Final Masquerade, I really like, honestly, really like A Line in the Sand, even though it's like kind of smaller, but I think this album is actually a pretty good album. Um, uh, I do think there's some lower lows on here, but I'm still going to give us a, a B tier. You know what? I'm taking it back, man. I really like this album. I enjoy these albums. All right, all right. Let me think I'm going to do this. I think that's more. Okay, that's more what I'm feeling right now, I think. Honestly. Actually, we're going to put this in B tier. I think this is more of how I'm feeling, honestly. I think this is a fucking awesome album. I don't think there's any holes in this album. So, for me at least, so I think I'm going to put that in S tier. I know it's like quite drastically different than these albums. Honestly, if I'm going to rank it per where it's at right now, it's probably that way. Uh, this is correct. Uh, this is correct. And yeah, that's correct. Okay, cool. Uh, and then the next one, of course, their final album, uh, most likely final album ever. Uh, this album really comes into me for C tier. Uh, I think there's some good songs on here, like Heavy's Not Bad and One More Light is Not Bad. Um, mainly when I heard them live. 
but over the overall the album felt more of a catering to like the um modern pop rock scene and it just doesn't do it for me as much like i even like their softer songs like i've shown you i like their softer songs by putting this up there and i even like stuff like not alone um but really this album just doesn't do it for me man i i think it's like the um uh, more softer like beats in the background um less instrumental like a lot less guitar and everything like that on this album compared to uh well especially hunting hunting party like this is a more of a rock album i think i know this is still like their get to form album to which i think takes it closer to this album um i just think this album's a little weaker in some aspects than this album still really love this album there's some amazing songs on here but it's just hard because this album just kind of feels nothing like Linkin Park. I'm not going to say, like, his voice is still there. Like, and I think this is partially due to him uh, starting to have trouble singing some of the songs. Like, uh, I, be- I bought um, One More Light Live, um, like, probably 2018. I didn't buy it when it first came out, but I feel like you could tell some of his vocals were getting uh, more messed up. I don't want to say that. Like, I don't think it quite has the... Um, I don't think quite has the robustness of when I saw him live in like 2014 and everything like that. So it's sad. Um, I, you know, I wasn't one of the people, like I didn't, I didn't really listen to this when it came out. Like I listened to some of the singles. And I was like, it's not really for me. I don't know if it's cause I was like at the time kind of losing, uh, losing some interest in Lincoln Park. I don't really know. I don't know if it was, you know, I hadn't, like, every time I tried to see a concert, every time afterwards, like, I still loved Lincoln Park. I'd still be listening to all these albums. Uh, honestly, even, like, all these six albums I'd be listening to. But, I don't know. It just ended up that way. I didn't really listen to it as much as I thought I would. And now, coming back, I'm still not a huge fan of it. So... That's kind of all for this tier list, though. Thank you all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, drop a like, uh, subscribe, comment, uh, put down what your ranking would be, and uh, let us know if there's any other bands you want us to do next. Uh, But that'll be all for today, folks. Thank you. Peace.